Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to become certified as a medical laboratory uh, professional and that can encompass uh, many different uh, professions which you should be looking at before you try to go into one uh, in order to see what it is that you're most interested in. Um, as a whole, uh, you're looking at uh, individuals who are going to analyze anything that comes out of the body and work in a hospital lab. There are other places that um, these professionals can work, like a reference lab or doctor's offices, um, but the main population of these professionals um, may either be in government or in hospital laboratories. So the um, main thing that we're going to cover today is just um, who do they get certified by? Um, ASCP is the gold standard. And who is it that accredits, um, uh, that provides accreditation to the programs at which students would go to? And that would be NACLS, okay? So the two, um, the two places that we're talking about today are the gold standard for being a laboratory professional. There are other certifications um, but if you go and try to get a position anywhere in the U.S., the main certification that they're looking for is ASCP. Okay, so if we go to the ASCP website, we're going to mainly stick with the Board of Certification today, and the U.S. certification is what we're, what we're talking about. Um, once you get certified and you live in certain states, you also may be required to uh, look and um, get state licensure as well, but we're not going to cover that today. Once you get certified, you will also need to do the credential maintenance program, which is every four years, and we can cover that in another video as well. So if you look here, this is the introduction for um, the certification. Here is a booklet down here that will um, have everything um, in regard to what's happening that year, uh, how do you apply to take the exam, where should you go in order to um, schedule your uh, exam test, uh, to be taken at a Pearson site. All of that stuff is in here. Um, there are other um, things in these also, these tabs, that are wonderful and you should definitely go and look at them, including the scheduling um, of that test day, how to study, what do you need to expect um, for the day of the exam, and uh, what happens with the results and um, you know, when does your certificate come? Military, um, there's a whole other tab for that, um, all the special things that are required there. But let's go to the eligibility. So for each category, uh, there are links down here. I'm going to do the technician certification level, uh, mainly the MLT here. And um, so, if you click down here, all of them have an application fee. I could be wrong, um, but if, if there is an application fee, it's uh, written right here. And then it provides you the different routes that you can take in order to be um, able to apply to take the Board of Certification exam. Okay, so um, this main route here is route number one and it's saying that you need to have an associate's degree or a certain amount of classes that you've taken at an academic institution that is hey look accredited by NACLS okay there is another accreditation here but I'm focusing on NACLS okay and so um, it uh, tells you that the restriction is within the last five years that you need to have um, graduated from that program in good standing. Okay, so <clears throat> if um, if I'm a new student and I'm looking at this, then I'm uh, realizing I have to go to NACLS now to see what um, what it is, uh, what program I can um, use in order to get this eligibility. So you go to the NACLS website, you click on find a program, and it brings you here. Okay, and this will be, um, you can choose a state. Let's go to Alaska. I had Alabama up 
um, at first. And I'm looking for a medical laboratory technician. Okay. And so I click search. There are no programs in Alaska. So then, um, okay, well, I actually meant Alabama. So, hey, here, here they are. So we have all of these, um, all of these programs. Um, you'll notice I am not on any of these, which is fine. I'm just trying to show you how this gets done. So um, every one of these has a link to that um, college's site in order to figure out how do you apply to that program. They also have the program director's information in case you want to call that individual. As a program director myself, please, please, please check out the website first. We do love hearing from prospective students. We really, really do. Um, but we are extremely busy and we want you to be as prepared as possible with your questions before you call us or email us only because we want to make sure that you've already seen the information that we would ask you to look at anyway so the first thing that you should do is go to that website link and look to see what our program offers um, there are also uh, other other things that you could look at in regard to how much uh, does it cost to go to that program and all that sort of thing. But when I first get a, a student talking to me, they email me or they call me, they have questions. And a lot of those questions are able to be answered at um, a pro the program's website. So please make sure to do that first if you are going to try to contact the director. And we do, again, love hearing from you. Uh, that's not the issue. We just want you to um, be prepared with appropriate questions that you may have once you have a little bit of education on what it is that we provide. So again, those two things that you wanna look at are the eligibility requirements for US certification of whatever um, whatever profession you're trying to get into and then as soon as you figure that out then you can go to the NACLS website and find a program near you and that way you can get started as soon as possible thank you so much for um, viewing my video and supporting um, this station. We, I really appreciate it. Please subscribe. Um, and I'm constantly uh, making and updating videos. Thank you so much. Bye.